Welcome to this demonstration of deploying Cohesity's Data Platform Cloud Edition on Microsoft Azure. In this demo, I'm going to showcase and demonstrate how to successfully deploy a Cohesity cluster directly from the Microsoft Azure Marketplace. We'll start by going into the Azure Marketplace and simply performing a search for the Cohesity Data Platform Cloud Edition. You'll see that quickly the Cloud Edition appears in the screen and you're now able to actually create the instance of that particular appliance. Now, this particular appliance is what we call a config uh, Cohesity VM, which basically contains the tools and the software components that allow you to perform the deployment of the actual Cohesity Data Platform cluster. Here you choose the necessary components uh, that make up that particular appliance. You provide a particular username, uh, a password. Uh, we'd recommend you using SSH keys instead of the password, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to keep it very simple. But just know that this is a, this is a security risk. Uh, you select the resources that you have available within Microsoft Azure, whatever is applicable to your uh, deployment, and the particular region where you want to deploy uh, the appliance. The appliance is then going to be utilized to choose uh, and push the actual cluster configuration. Here, you'll choose the size offering, particularly when it comes to what's available in Azure. Uh, here are some of those specific settings in terms of uh, the disks and the specific uh, configuration aspects that are needed. Uh, you'll select the require components, IP addressing, and all those components that you'll see here. Um, actually, those things pertain to your Azure environment. The whole point is that this is a quite simple process, and very easily you'll be able to uh, begin the deployment of this configure appliance to then deploy the actual Cohesity cluster itself. Now, once the appliance is up and running, uh, you'll be able to either attach it to the dashboard or find it. But once the appliance is running, you'll proceed uh, and identify uh, that the application is actually, or the, the appliance is actually running. You'll be able to identify and acquire the IP address so that you can remotely connect to it from your environment. As you can see here, the IP address is listed uh, in the menu. Uh, you gather that IP address and basically now we'll perform a remote SSH connection to the actual appliance so that we can then uh, proceed with the deployment of the actual cluster. Again, I recommend using uh, SSH keys, but here, just for the purpose of the demo, I went with a password. When you get to this point, you'll see that you'll have to fill out uh, some information. Obviously, as a customer, uh, you'll be able to then provide uh, all the different requirements that are uh, uh, requested here. You'll provide in an email uh, those that information, those 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 particular items, uh, back to Cohesity support, and then they'll provide you with the information and the link to actually download uh, the bits that you need. So once you have that information, basically you'll come onto within the same appliance here and perform a download of the file or the actual virtual disk that contains the master image for the deployment of the cluster. Once that uh, download is performed and completed, you'll also download what we call um, our Azure tools, which will then be placed within that particular appliance to utilize and perform some of the functions that are needed here. So we'll untar the actual Azure tools. There's then a directory created, which compose, uh, is composed of a lot of a couple of different tools and some of the items that are going to be needed to configure and put the settings of the cluster. As you can see here, I'm now going to move the actual uh, VHD file that was downloaded onto the directory itself, just for the purpose of easing the configuration and the deployment of this process. Once that's completed, uh, you want to look into the actual directory itself and identify some of the configuration items that are here. Now, there are a couple of items uh, which are part of this particular directory you'll see here. So when it comes to configuring the cluster, the, there is a JSON file that actually needs a certain number of parameters to be included as part of the deployment. And here's an example of that and what it looks like. Uh, the top items are basically related to your Azure account and subscription parameters, while all the other ones are related to the actual uh, cluster itself and how they're going to run in terms of uh, in uh, Microsoft Azure. Uh, beyond that, those things are configurable through the actual um, interface. Once you get to that point, you'll notice that the JSON file is listed here as a 
um, basically in, in a templatized format, which can actually just be open, modified as you need to, based on the example you saw there. And then to then validate whether the cluster will be uh, able to be created successfully or not, we have a command that allows you to validate configuration, whether it's going to work or not within Azure. Here's that command. Uh, and basically, once that's validated and successful, the next thing is to then provide the actual command to instantiate or create the entire cluster uh, within Microsoft Azure so then could be deployed and begin for use. So here's the command. And from that point on, this will take a couple of minutes. So obviously, I've sped up the process here uh, so that we can actually uh, keep this uh, fairly quickly. But it doesn't really take that long. Obviously, it all depends on, on your network connectivity and all. But then very quickly, you can see here that the cluster was created. There was a particular name that I copied. Uh, and I'm going to come to the uh, to my um, Azure dashboard and actually perform a search for that particular item that was created, that particular cluster. We can see a lot of the information here. And once I provide uh, the information uh, that was out provided as part of the output, I can see that there's an appliance. You can see there there's an actual uh, appliance that's been deployed. And based on the IP address that you assign to that private network within Microsoft Azure, you'll be able to access it. And here is that I have connectivity and I'm able to successfully access the cluster directly. So as you can see, this is a quite a simple procedure. Uh, once the cluster is deployed, you have the IP information. The next step is to basically log in and configure the Cohesity cluster, which I'll save for a different demonstration. That's about it. Thank you for watching.